Alright guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to be doing a complete full breakdown of the new Dokkan Fest Gogeta. So as you can see here, he is an int type character which is really good, again that's a huge buff to the fusion category because again, there's only a couple of int based fusions on that category so him being int is really really good. And that's also really good that he's not tech because then, you know, he doesn't completely invalidate the older Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Okay, so this is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, powerful, peerless power. He leads the new category, great 8 power, 3 key, and 170% to all stats. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on this category, kind of talk about it, why it's both a good category and really, really healthy for the game. And then Shadow Dragon Saga, 3 key, 150% to stats, so that tells me already that we could get another Shadow Dragon Saga leader. Probably, you know, a new and improved Omega Shenron. And then a super attack, Big Bang Kamehameha. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. His passive is Shadow Dragon Crushing Power. 200% attack and defense? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. 200%? Dude, that's basically what Jiren does. And he greatly raises... Oh my god. He is the best TUR in the game already. This alone, 200%, and then greatly raising it for one turn. Oh my lord. And then he gains an additional 4 key and 40% attack and defense and attacks effective against all types from for 8 turns. Oh my lord, what were they thinking with this unit? So you're telling me for 8 turns he has 240% attack and defense in 4 key. And then he raises his defense on super attack as well, so. And then a high chance of attacks effective against all types starting from the ninth turn. And then a high chance of evading enemy super attacks and countering with tremendous power. Oh my god, this Gogeta is literally the best TR in the game. I don't care what people say, Cooler is not as good. Gohan is not as good. Beerus is not as good. Angel Golden Frieza is not as good. The fact that he has 200%, he, he's greatly raising his attack and defense for one turn. He gets 4 key. 4 key. And then an extra 40% attack and defense. For 8 turns? Like, the 200% attack and defense from raising it alone is going to be good in the Legendary Goku event and, and all of the long events for sure. But the fact that he gets this extra buff for only for 8 turns means he's going to be a super battle road killer. And then he has an active skill. Uh, can be used after receiving 4 or more attacks. That's literally nothing. You can even get that in Dokkan events. All enemies attack and defense minus 40% and own attack and defense plus, one, plus 40%. Okay. So let me just put this into perspective. You're in Super Battle Road, right? Turn 1. You get hit 4 times. Guess what? You can now use his active skill when Gogeta comes back on the next rotation. Gogeta comes back. You're on, what, turn 3? You have 240% attack and defense. You have 4 key. You're super effective against all types. And you have a 50% chance to counter super attacks. And you're able to use his active skill, which then lowers the enemy's attack and defense by 40% and gives him an extra 40% attack and defense. For a total of 4 key, 280% attack and defense, attacks effective against all types, and he can evade enemy super attacks and counter. Yep, he is the best TR in the game. I don't care what anybody says, he is the best TR in the game. Nobody comes close to him. No one. My god, I don't know what they were thinking with this guy. And then the fact that we're not even factoring in links, he's got things like Super Saiyan, GT, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash. He has Shocking Speed and Over in a Flash, meaning he's going to be really good on all of these teams. Because again, Shocking Speed... <clears throat> most of the units on these categories have Shocking Speed. Over in a Flash, Final Trump card has that. Shadow Dragon Saga... GT Link, really, really good at Link level 10. Easily one of the best, so this guy is easily, easily the best TR in the game. 
Oh, and by the way, they're also leaving a Nova. They're also releasing a Nova Shenron. <laughs> Obviously not as hype, but you know, let's just <sighs> let's just see what this guy can do because my lord, <sighs> I don't know what they were thinking with him. They literally went all out with him and said, "Screw it." <clears throat> yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go down here. If this is exactly what I said. <clears throat> Mem Mehmed. A whopping 280% for 8 turns, considering the active skill. Attacks effective against all types, plus 50% chance to counter. And then again, like he says, that's without any support. Any support. You put someone like Kid Buu next to him and he gives him an extra 50% attack and defense. So basically, basically at that point has 200... No, 330% attack and defense if you put in the active skill as well. Because again, this active skill is so easy to get. After receiving four or more attacks, that's nothing. Okay, let's just look at what this Nova Shenron does. Leader skill Shadow, Dragon Saga, four key, 120%. So already really good leader skill, four key. Really, really good. Super attack, Burning Spin, raises attack for three turns, causes immense damage, and seals super attack. So actually pretty decent. I would have preferred to see this raise his defense. And then... Passive, 140% attack and defense, so already really, really good. Again, he's going to have solid attack and defense. Another extra 40% attack and defense, and a high chance to perform a critical hit when attacking an extreme class enemy. Not hard to get. Uh, gain an additional 2 key and 40% attack and defense if there's a Shadow Dragon Saga category enemy. Again, Shadow Dragon Saga category Super Battle Road. He's going to be really, really good in there. And then Shadow Dragon Saga allies... Super class allies, defense plus 40%, so already this Nova Shenron outclasses the EZA Nova Shenron, so. I mean, I mean, he's really good, you know, he's giving defense, uh, he gets really, really good against Shadow Dragon Saga enemies as well as extreme class enemies, and in the Super Battle Road, I think that's not going to be very hard to hit, that's going to actually be really easy to get. And then the fact that he's got Shocking Speed is going to be really helpful to him, especially things like GT, Cold Judgment, and Gentleman after the Link level update are actually really good now, so this is really, really good. And it's a buff to Resurrected Warriors and Worthy Rivals. So, uh, yeah. I mean, what can I say, dude? I literally can't say anything else. This Gogeta is an absolute killer. There's no other unit like him. There's no unit like him. There's no other unit that can do what this guy can do. Like... I don't know what they were thinking. Like, like <clears throat> I, I just don't know, man. So, anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Again, this Gogeta, easily best T R in the game. No one can argue against it. He is the best T R in the game, hands down. He is the best T R, hands down. I, I can't stop repeating that, but it's just, it's true, man. No other unit can compare to this guy. So, anyways, guys, like I said before, I'm gonna end the video right here. I cannot wait for this guy to come out. I'm going to start grinding a ton of dragon stones because, dude, he is so good. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like I said, I'll probably make a video on his new category, which is the grade 8 power. Why it's, you know, it's going to be super good for the game. And I'll see you guys next time.